my gift is a gift, but it's not the gift. Uh, LeBron James' gift is a gift, but it's not the gift. The same can be said of Drake or whoever your favorite uh, 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 entertainer is. Their gift is a gift. It is not the gift. Sports and entertainment is not the only way. And I know uh, by us being uh, um, subjected to uh, racial discrimination for so long, you know, even after the end of slavery, still being faced with with Jim Crow and systemic uh, racial discrimination that, as uh, Biggie Smalls once said, either you slinging crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. So in his uh, uh, mindset, either you in the streets or you were hooping. Or like Jay-Z once said, uh, all us blacks got is sports and entertainment until we even. So you get to looking on TV and looking for examples of yourself. And you looking for uh, individuals you can identify with who are successful. And the ones that you re see repeatedly, not the exceptions, okay? I ain't talking about having uh, a black president out of 40 some odd individuals who serve as president, you got the one that's black. That's an exception. Or you got a black vice presidential candidate. That's an exception. So you might look at that and you say, I can't attain that. Uh, and so you look over here to the NBA, that's 78% black. You look to the NFL, 70-80% black. You look all of uh, who's dominating the billboard charts and you see people that look like you. Or, uh, and then you say, okay, that's how to do it. I'm here to say, that's not the only way to do it. Matter of fact, that ain't even the most prosperous way to do it. That ain't the way that's gonna liberate us. You feel me? It's a gift to be uh, good linguistically, to be able to get on a microphone, to able to, uh, to be able to get in front of a camera and do what I'm doing right now. That's a gift. It's a gift that Brun Brun is 6'9", 260 pounds and running like the wind and can uh, uh, jam on your motherfucking ass. That's a gift. But it's not the gift. Because there's somebody watching this right now that your gift is in mathematics. Is somebody watching this right now that your gift is in science? Oh. Uh, and we need that. We need that. If you study, I mean really study, uh, how black people end up being subjugated and uh, forced into slavery in the Americas and uh, how black uh, 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 Europeans were able to basically conquer all of Africa. It come back to math and science. You know what I'm saying? Like the world is much older than 2,000 years. So the way this shit is right now, it's not always been like that. So you really got to study and see when this shit changed. And so, when you go back and look when Europeans came out of the Dark Ages, the Dark Ages, they went into a period called the Enlightenment that was basically uh, focused around science. And so black people fell behind in science and mathematics. And that allowed Europeans to develop weapons that were more powerful. And those weapons allowed them to conquer peoples in Africa and, and, and uh, uh, take peoples and bring them over here and now those people don't know who the fuck they are 
because they come from all these separate tribes and shit in West Africa and they had all these different languages and religions and all this kind of shit and now they come over here and they don't know who the fuck they are. And they, from 1619 to 1865, they're enslaved. And from 1865 to 19, the 1960s, you're dealing with Jim Crow. And from the 1960s until now, you're still dealing with just systemic racism. So we fell behind. But I'm telling you, we gonna catch up. We need all of you to identify your gift. Identify your gift. No, you might not go to the NBA, and that's okay. Because I'm telling you right now, there are some black people in this country right now that got way more money than the NBA players. The two richest black people in America got way more money than your favorite rapper. David Stewart, and Robert Smith, they got their money in tech and private equity, and they're the two richest black people in this country. Well, uh, you hear rappers talking about the Forbes list, and they on the Forbes list every year and shit like that. They ain't on that Forbes list. You ain't gonna see their name on that motherfucker. You feel me? Uh, uh, you gonna see very few rappers, ball players, uh, if any. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, it, it depends on how far the list go down. We talking about the real Forbes. It's the Forbes 400. They show you the richest 400 Americans in this country. Shit. You might get the Oprah, I believe. I think Oprah's on there. But shit. You, you, ain't, you probably ain't finna get the whole in Kanye. Because their gift is not the gift in terms of getting this paper. It's other avenues. One of y'all out there is, is, is tremendous. Your, your mind works great in terms of computers. You gotta cultivate that shit right now. You can't wait. Somebody out there right now, you see what's going on with COVID-19 and your mind works differently than even mine. You know what I'm talking about? Again, my gift is, is, is uh, uh, the gift of gab. Since I've been small, I've been good with words. Since I've been small, when they took you those aptitude tests and shit like that, it showed that I was good with uh, uh, words. It, said I, it showed that I was good in English, um, social studies, uh, creativity, history, religion. And of course, they have a test for sports, but hell, I was good at basketball, I ain't no coaching basketball. So I'm using the fucking gifts I was given, but it's one of y'all out there that you seeing what's going on with COVID right now. And your wheels are turning in terms of, they talking about building, uh, you know, uh, creating a vaccine and you thinking about your chemistry class and how you mix this with that and all that kind of shit. Cause your mind works different. I'm telling you right now, you got to cultivate that. Don't let no motherfucking body tell you that you lame or you square or you anything like that for having these ideas, for using your scientific brain, for, for doing the shit that you do that the motherfuckers in the hood might deem as weird, but that shit ain't weird. You just got the mind of a scientist. You got the mind of an engineer. You got the mind of a chemist. You got the mind of a motherfucker that can invent something. Don't let these folks tell you that you're weird or strange because you want to go got damn pay attention to the stock market because I just told you the, uh, uh, the richest black person got his money in private equity they had investments and shit like that you know what I'm saying you ain't gotta go uh, uh, open up no dope spot you know what I'm talking about you can be trying to figure out what's the next company to pop and get in that bitch early buy stock in that motherfucker and watch that bitch grow flip that shit or start a company online, it's easier than ever to start motherfucking businesses. You, you feel me? But you know algorithms. You know how to use the Facebook and YouTube algorithms and shit. And you know what tags to put in that shit. You, can, you know how to code shit. 
So you know how to make shit flip and pop. But yeah, they can't see it. They call you lame. They call you a nerd. But goddamn it, they gonna fuck around and have to work for your motherfucking ass. They when we see you pulling up in that goddamn whip. But I challenge you, when you prove a wrong, don't forget the people. Don't don't think about the fuck boys and the bitches that were talking down on you, you understand? They ain't know no better. They came up in the same environment that made you feel weird. That environment taught them to treat you like that. You feel me? So don't don't uh, say fuck everybody because they did you like that. You, see, you feel me? When you flip the game on the air, don't forget the people, especially the children. Because the same way I'm talking to you right now, you got to talk to the next generation. But first, it got to start with you. We need factories. I'm from Canton, Mississippi. The biggest employer where I'm from is the Nissan plant. That shit ain't owned by black people. And it ain't no real ones running that shit. Whether it's black, white, red, whatever the fuck. It ain't no real ones over there running that shit. You know why I know that? Because they won't let them people unionize. So even if you one of my uh, white real ones, you watching this shit, you an ally of the struggle. You know what I'm talking about? Shit, same thing for you. Same thing for you. Figure out what your gift from God is. Utilize that shit. Make money for yourself and your family. But don't forget the people. And don't limit yourself. I see so many of my youngins become nurses, but I'm like, damn, they got the ability to be a doctor. Don't cap your motherfucking self. I see some of my youngins, they go to the military, you're a soldier, but you got the ability to goddamn be the general. Don't cap yourself. I see so many of my youngins, they might goddamn get a good job with this uh, 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 company, but you got the ability to be the hustler and take the risk and start your own fucking company and be the boss. Don't cap yourself either. Okay? Because this is a war in terms of economics. Our ancestors fought the fight to get us <laughs> uh, <laughs> liberty. They endured slavery until we got uh, uh, the 13th Amendment. They endured that. Our ancestors fought that fight for us to be able to have a semblance of respect when it comes to the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Our ancestors fought that fight for us to have the right to vote, even though these motherfuckers are trying to systematically take that from us. You understand? But the next fight is this money. And that's the toughest fight. Why? Because this nation is built on competition within capitalism. You feel me? So if you take the shackles or, or, or the, the uh, metaphorical shackles, the economic shackles off of a people, that creates more competition in the country. And so that's why they want to keep those economic shackles on. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want everybody to have to compete on a level ground. But we have to fight that fight. And you are on a better footing than your ancestor. You're on a better footing than your ancestor. You have the opportunity to sue a motherfucker if they goddamn try to uh, wrongfully terminate you. You have that ability. You feel me? You gotta utilize this shit. You gotta stand the fuck up. If these folks discriminating against you, you have that right to get, get with some lawyers, get with the ACLU, get with the EEOC, get with the NAACP, get with the Urban League, you know what I'm talking about? Use all these avenues to fight. But you got to be willing to fight. Don't think that rapping, singing, uh, and hooping, playing football is your only way to success. Because it's not. It's not. You ain't got to be Carter. You ain't got to be Meg. You ain't got to be Drake. You ain't got to be NBA young boy. You ain't got to be none of them motherfuckers. Because Robert Smith, if he won't go with their money, he'd be very upset. You know what I'm saying? And we need more of him. We don't even need more of me. 
We need more of that motherfucker. We need some factories around this bitch. We need some banks around this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Owned by real ones. Owned by motherfuckers who are real and love the people. So find your gift and work your motherfucking ass off. I love you. One.